Hi there, welcome to this build of a 65 inch wingspan Great Plains Trainer 60. And we've been building this from plans from Outer Zone that we downloaded from Outer Zone. Now, if you've been watching the build series, you'll know that we'd got to the point where everything was finished and we were just waiting for the right weather to get to the airfield and to do that first flight. Well, we've just had a couple of lovely days flying. And I, yes, I've had the first flight in it and it flew absolutely lovely. I am really, really pleased. And I have got some video to share with you. On the first day I took it out, I managed to get, I think it was just four flights. And I'll show you the first two flights. So the very first one, the very first one is quite interesting because I was taxiing it up and down and just trying to get it, make sure it tracked right. At, but, but the engine just kept cutting out on me. If you remember, it's a Merco 61 from the late 60s, early 70s, and I had a number 8 OS plug in it, which it just didn't like. I put a brand new uh, idle bar plug in from around the same period of time, and it ran really, really sweet. But anyway, on that first flight, took off full throttle after a bit of taxi down the strip, and I was just pulling the elevator back and <laughs> nothing was happening, it was going fine, loads of speed and I just managed to pull it back enough that it started to lift off the ground right at the very end of the strip. Now around our flying, uh, flying area we have an electric fence to keep off the sheep and the cattle and it was just lifting off the ground and it just caught very slightly the electric fence and you can hear it ding in the video and it didn't cause a problem, it just soared off. Now, the throws I had on it were the throws that are specified on the build article that comes with the plans. I think it's in the build article. And to be honest, they're absolutely fine for the maiden flight. With the elevator, I just wasn't pulling it back enough and I have increased the throws on that now to make it a little bit more responsive. In fact, I've had the whole plane in the workshop and from that first few flights, that first flying day, I soon felt I needed more on the, both the ailerons, the rudder and the elevator. But the, the, the initial settings were fine for that maiden flight. So I'll share with you that flight. I'll take out sort of the little bits where it's a speck in the distance and just keep it to the, the more interesting stuff. And I'll show you the second flight as well, mainly the takeoff, the landing, and uh, a little bit of flight in between. But I am so chuffed with this because it flies absolutely beautifully. I mean, the, the landing from the maiden flight is really sweet, but look at that second one and how it just floats in. I don't think I've ever flown a plane that actually floats into landing like this one does. It's a really, really nice plane. And I can't wait to get used to uh, flying it and more experience with it. Like I said, I've had it in the workshop and I've increased all the throws and I've just checked everything and I'm hoping to get out in the next few days. Anyway, let me show you these first two flights and uh, I hope you enjoy watching them as much as or as much as I, I enjoy flying the plane, it really is a nice plane to fly.
Yeah, look, I think so. All the difference an idle bar plug makes. Okay, I'm well up there. Yeah. 